Zechariah says, I know we can't pass in front of praying person, but can we reach our arms in front of him to pick a Quran or any object that is beside him on his other side? For example, I will be sitting to his right and someone will pass me the Quran who is sitting to his left and we uh, will pass the Quran in front of him while he is praying. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ prohibited walking in front. Someone who's praying to a sutra. And we've explained that the sutra is an object that is a foot high, a visor, a screen that you put in front of you and you pray towards it so that people would identify that you're praying and they cannot violate your space. But if a person does not pray to a sutra and someone wants to pass and walk in front of him, he is entitled to do this, providing it is beyond the place where he puts his forehead uh, um, in. So the prostration spot, if he walks beyond it, this is okay. The question is, what about if I'm not going to walk in front, but rather penetrate this space through giving something or taking something from someone on the other side? So if I'm praying and the one sitting to my right hands something to the one sitting to my left, and it's like a foot in front of me because he's giving and the other one is taking. So would that be prohibited? This would not be prohibited because this is not considered to be walking, but it is inappropriate because of your invasion of his space. And this breaks his concentration. Yet we cannot say it's prohibited in the sense that the prohibition is in passing. And the hand itself is not considered to be passing. As in the authentic hadith, where the Prophet ﷺ was once in seclusion, in i'tikaf, in the masjid. And his house was adjacent to the masjid. So there was a door between them. And in his house was Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, who was in her menses. So the Prophet said to her ﷺ, hand me that piece of garment. So she said, O Prophet of Allah, I'm in my menses. I don't want to violate the purity of the masjid. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu I know you are in your menses. Your menses is not in your hand, meaning that when you hand it to me while your body is still in the house, there's nothing wrong in that because the penetration of your arm to the vicinity of the masjid does not, or is not considered to be uh, um, entering it with your body, which is not permissible for a woman in her menses. So I hope this answers your question.